Hey, so today we'll be talking about LastPass and how to use LastPass and how to share your uh, passwords with LastPass maybe to your uh, freelancers that you work with or coworkers or even family. So how it works is there's a, you make an account for yourself and then you download the browser extension or you br download the app if you're going to use it on your phone or devices. And you once you log in, store all your passwords in there and then you will never have to enter in your passwords again. Cool thing about it is that you can store more than your passwords. You can store your bank account information, you can store your credit card information, you can store uh, your driver's license, right? And so it's really, really convenient. So you never have to remember any of that again. Um, I'm not ballsy enough to store my credit card information in there and such, but uh, I'll store my passwords. So besides using it as a password manager, uh, I also like to use it to share uh, the login information with. Uh, the freelancers I work with um, and uh, I actually just found out about this not too long ago and I wish I had known about this before because uh, it's actually saved me a lot of time and quite a bit of money too um, being able to share account login information with uh, freelancers that I work with um, it used to be that I would uh, get separate accounts for each of them and of course that costs money uh, whereas like I have the master account and I could just share that and then they could get in. So uh, in this tutorial today, I will uh, walk you through how to share your passwords with uh, freelancers or people that you're working with. So after you add, so after you add the Chrome extension for LastPass, it should automatically launch this browser window right here. And then if it doesn't automatically log you in, you click log in, and then you'll be in uh, brought into the interface or uh, the dashboard. All right, so sharing your password with LastPass is pretty easy. Um, so once you're logged in and everything, uh, you go to password, you add a password and URL. So I am going to add this URL. And then the name of the URL. You can name whatever you want. Uh, folder, sites, uh, username, and then the password. All right, and then these are advanced settings that you can set. If you want auto login, whatever. And then after that, you click save. So after you've saved your password, um, so you could go to share and share a whole folder. So whatever you put in that folder is going to be, to be automatically shared. But if you want to share individual sites, uh, you, uh, individual logins, you go to passwords. So this is the one I just added, and I want to share it with someone. Um, so that's a login for my website. And then so put in the recipient's email address. And then allow recipient to view password. Normally, no, right, because you only want them to log in with that information. You don't really want them to do anything else with it. Um, so that... After that, you click share, and then a share email will be sent to them. And then you can check the status um, pending. It's pending right now. And then after they successfully accept the share, then it'll change. But if you're not sharing the password with anyone, there should be nothing here. Anyway, so that's really all I have for this video and now you know how to share your accounts and passwords with LastPass with uh, anyone you choose if you have any questions uh, comments just leave them below and I'll try to get to them All right bye